Hello everybody and welcome back to yet another video and to a very exciting video here on the channel. This is one of my favorite videos to make every year because it means it's almost time for me to start one of my favorite traditions, 25 Days of Suggestions. 25 Days of Suggestions is a series that I've done on my channel every single year since I started it back in 2017 and I can't wait to do another round this December. 25 Days of Suggestions is pretty simple. Every single day from December 1st to December 25th, I do a suggestion review, reviewing a car suggested by one of you guys in the comments of this video. But there are a few rules regarding suggestions, so let's go over those very quickly. Up first, when it comes to cars, you could only suggest one car, just one suggestion per person. It's as simple as that. You can't suggest more than one car. I only make exceptions for, say, Luigi and Guido, or Rusty and Dusty, Mia and Tia, cars like that, where you can't really review one without reviewing the other. But other than that, you can only suggest one car. This is one that most people tend to abide by, just one suggestion per person. Another important rule is that you can't claim a day for your review. Every year I get one or two comments from people asking, hey, can you review such and such character on this day or this day or this day? That's not how the series works. 25 Days of Suggestions is completely randomly picked. In fact, as of a few years ago, I've been doing, uh, I've been putting every comment into a random name picker website, which every single day picks a random car from the list for me to review. It's something that I really enjoy doing because it makes it completely random. That's how it's always been. It's always been random, but, you know, using this random name picker has made it truly, really be random. So, yeah, you can't claim a day. There's also, of course, a chance that your suggestion won't be picked since, you know, it is randomly picked. But obviously, if your suggestion isn't picked, that's nothing against you. Um, you know, it is just randomly picked. Uh, the third rule is just the simple rule that I keep for my birthday requests. You can't suggest any car that I've reviewed in 2022, or that is a new release in 2022. That's always my rule for my birthday requests. You can't uh, suggest anything that is a new release for the current year or that I've reviewed in the current year. It just is redundant. And when it comes to new releases, of course, I plan on reviewing anyone I can get my hands on. So, you know, it's kind of pointless to do like a suggestion review for it um, when I'm planning on reviewing it anyway. And that brings us to our final rule, which is actually a new rule for this year. You can't suggest any car from the final 50. Back in August, I started a series on my channel reviewing cars that I dubbed the final 50. I realized that I only had 50 cars in my collection that I'd never reviewed before, and I started doing a series going through and reviewing all of them so that I can have a review on every single car in my collection. If I do, if I accept requests for cars from the final 50 list for 25 days of suggestions, then I can no longer do final 50 reviews on them. Just like with new releases, I plan on reviewing all of the cars from the final 50. So yeah, you can't suggest any of these cars because they are going to be reviewed for the final 50. And uh, doing 25 days of suggestions would then cross them off the list and kind of defeat the point of the final 50 where I'm supposed to be spotlighting these cars in their own unique series. Other than that, anything is on the table. You can suggest any car in my collection, including customs. That's something I want to stress since um, not many people seem to know that you can suggest any custom car in my collection as well. I also want to bring that up because uh, this year, any of the customs from Ty's Cars 4 are completely on the table. I reviewed all of my Ty's Cars 4 customs in a big mega review last year. But that was last year, which means now you can suggest any of them uh, for 25 Days of Suggestions. You can suggest any custom from Cars 4, from Cars Adventures, or you could just suggest any car from my collection, as long as it's not one of the final 50, or something I reviewed in 2022, or something that was a new release for 2022. So with all that said and done, you can now put your suggestions in the comments. Thank you for watching this video and for listening to the rules for 25 Days of Suggestions 2022. I cannot wait to get started doing these reviews and opening the Mini Racers Advent Calendar in each review. I forgot to mention that earlier, but that's also something we do in 25 Days of Suggestions. We open up 
uh, the Mini Racers advent calendar every day. So there you go. Suggestions are now open, and I can't wait to see what you guys ask me to review for this year. Bye now.